Okay, I'm here with Mo. Mo is the uh, elusive designer of many products through the DM Lab meetings. Uh, most key is this tone ruler here. So Mo, do you want to describe what we have in front of us there? So we have a bunch of circuits that were made as prototypes, basically. Uh, they were made to achieve certain goals. Uh, some of them did achieve them better than others. Let's put it this way. Uh, the most uh, most efficient one being yeah, this one, this, this prototype. It basically solves your problem of having something big and expensive and getting it small, portable and affordable, basically. Um, so what's the, um, what's the, how does it work? So, um, the, the concept I based uh, this product on is basically this is, um, I'm not sure how you call it, it's a ruler, but an electronic ruler. Does it make sense? Like one of those you use to measure distances. So only here the that distance is uh, translated into sound. So into a pitched sound, right? And uh, it also has MIDI output, which is good. It has a little internal speaker too, so you can just hear it out of the box. You don't need an amplifier or anything like that. And uh, yeah, it's made to be compact, so yeah. <laughs> what was the first thing you made out of these four products? So the first one was this one, which is the first prototype of the music blower. And uh, the idea for, for this was made during the um, just one of Drake Music events. Uh, and it's basically just a not so expensive breathe controller, which doesn't work that well as well, it was more of an experiment. It's basically, yeah, it has a breathe sensor, so it's kind of a digital flute, and it generates random notes while every time it detects a new breathe, a new breath. And that led to the next one, yeah? Okay, so this one, this tiny one, led to a, a little more complicated one, which does exactly the same, but uh, in this one we have now have a, a tangible interface, uh, although it doesn't have any names written on it, um, it's, it's used to change the sound, change the pitch, and change the scale of the random notes that are played. And it has some visual output as well. And, uh, yeah. and how does that relate to the music blower, to the um, tone reader then? So, basically, the architecture is the same, uh, pretty much. It's an 8-bit controller which they all share, it's their common feature and it's my expertise area, that's why <laughs> I do it that way um, so in terms of sound this one would only make some basic sounds this one more uh, based on subtractive synth but really poor subtractive synth methods to achieve it this one was a little more evolved and so it generated uh, a little AM, if I'm not mistaken, so it would create more uh, richer sounds in tim timbre and, and uh, in context, basically. And this one, the big jump, uh, it's this one, because this one has an FM synthesis implemented in, on it, which took me a lot of time to create. But, um, but yeah, you FM synthesis is good, because you can create a... a rich sounds with uh, low low conditions, let's put it this way, with, poor, uh, with little mathematics and uh, little resources you can make a rich spectrum of sound, which is, uh, which is the, what led me to make the choice to actually create the FM synthesis engine in the first place, so yeah.